Tonight's top local story, a battle of the badges. A member of the Rhode Island State Police is arrested, accused of assaulting a Providence police sergeant. Investigators say the trooper lashed out during a fundraiser honoring a fallen policeman. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuller joins us now with all the details. Well, Aaron, we're still waiting on the Providence Police Report, which is still being held by the Detective Division. And while authorities won't say much, State Police tell Eyewitness News the ongoing investigation has been fair and objective. This police union hall, the center of a multi-agency investigation, as authorities look into the alleged assault of a Providence police officer. 41-year-old trooper Edward Stenovich was charged with simple assault yesterday after punching Providence Sergeant Bernard Teddy Gannon during a fundraiser early Saturday morning. I won't comment on any testimony that's been given, but I can tell you that I'm very satisfied, having been privy to the evidence, that it is not uh, an act of self-defense. It was unjustifiable. Major Johnson of the State Police Professional Standards Unit supports the Providence charges. Gannon suffered a broken nose and laceration. Both men were off duty when detectives say Stenovich threw a single unprovoked punch. We're, we're in agreement. I mean, the charge that has been brought against our member was based on a joint investigation, and we're in agreement that it was... It was satisfied by probable cause. Stenovich has been placed on paid administrative leave pending the result of an internal investigation. Major Johnson says his department will continue to work with Providence detectives and he's certain this incident won't hurt their working relationship. This is extremely disheartening. It's not something you ever foresee. You certainly hope that you never have to uh, deal with a situation like this. We feel terribly for the Providence police officer that was injured in the assault. Now, Stenovich was released yesterday on his own recognizance. Major Johnson says he can't speculate on any potential administrative consequences. He also won't comment on whether any other officers are being investigated as a part of the incident. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.